case. You do realize this apiarian phantom? Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be. A wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. Screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. That's not the same as hearing something. on him? No. He looked like he had frostbite. Blue lips, frost in his hair. And dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died. What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Come on, people. Don't bury your bodies. Leave your bodies out for anywhere between two weeks to a month just to make sure that a random witcher doesn't come by to try and solve your problem and do an autopsy on the body. Okay? That's just logic. Leave your body in your house, preferably with any loot that they died with still on their body, just as a reward for any, you know, happening witchers. Where'd the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. This way. Ah. Follow me. Hey, Kirgo, of yeah, course it is. It was an apiarian phantom. It's a beekeeping superstition. Every night. The bees off. Every night it's Witcher 3. Appears. He destroys the eyes and kills the bees. So that no one can use these noble creatures for a noble purpose. Sick to your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantoms from Nilfgaard. Come on, guys! This is the place. Here's where the phantom killed the farmhand. Maybe oh. it left some tracks. Alright. Oh, I see. Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. It's kind of look like necker footprints. Just saying. Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. Must be where the farmhand died. Oh, don't pick us up for lunch and that. And a very nice hello to you as well, Kirgo. Um... Oh, because we didn't examine the footprints. We can't follow them yet. Uh, all right, let's... Yeah, and Phantom's got the last clues to me. And it's pretty damn heavy. All right, stop talking over yourself, Geralt. Give yourself time Tracks to speak. Disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side. See if the trail goes on. Is that a box? I think that is a box. Go ho! Crappy loot. Hmm. <clears throat> then again, this is a quest we were supposed to have done quite some time ago. Guess we'll see what happens. I was kidding you. Oi! Getting back into the swing of things here. Well, that's that's not. Okay. Maybe the fire was more effective than I thought. What now, you piece of hell? I. 
I've played Civ 4 and I've played Civ 5. I'm gonna guess it relates to the picture. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh my god, it's a cat burrito! Why is it so cute? <laughs> Favorite nation? Um, Austrian, if I'm thinking of the right one. Coffee houses, um, and marriage. Marriage! To city-states to be able to claim them. Political marriages. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be using my Witcher senses. Herp! Well, if we just run along the coast, we're bound to find something, right? Looking for... Oh my god, get out of my way, tree! <clears throat> Damn trees, always be trying to keep me down. See, that was one aspect in um, Civilization that always made me very upset, was the fact that, like, people show would declare you war on me. I'll show you the drowners, but they didn't destroy the hunters. And, uh, and then people would accuse me of being a warmonger. like in slow motion today. Jesus! I blame cats. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go ahead and blame cats. Or a lack of coffee. We haven't really drank much. Sea beggars? Oh, Netherlands. Ugh. Wonder where these clues will lead me. Oh wow, this was way back. Oh, bad I guess. Water. Oh. Anything's hiding in this puddle away from a lake. You need to check the other side. See if the trail goes on the pond, and I'll show you the drowners. <laughs> Man, level scale drowning is always the real deal. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty, uh... For some reason, we keep ending up, like, just that far away from hitting these drowners. Like, they're far falling back a little bit further than they usually do. Or we're pushing them a little bit more than we usually do. Whatever the case may be, I think I gotta change my attacks. We might also want to rest, just so that we can end up having a swallow. Hey, Slim. 
I'm doing good. Cat, you are just bound and determined to knock everything over, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Can squeeze through here. Gotta find another way in. Oh, come on, you can squeeze it. Geralt, if you can get your head in that hole, you can squeeze through. He's like a cat, right? Nice, it's like a little tree farm. You know, I'm still thinking that this is going to end up being like his competition or something like that. And that they're using like frost bombs to destroy the stuff. It's gonna be like an opposing bee farm. Damn, man, these guys have got some loot issues. That, or this used to be a startup for business, and I'm stealing all of their uh, initial capital. But Yeah, but do they generate a lot of gold? Because that was one problem that I had with... Oh, God. God. Yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was going for, but great. Was um with uh raiding type units, like Janissaries, I think it was. Like they don't earn that much money. Which I guess anything is, you know, great, but it costs like 320 to build one. If you wanted just it's to build, so they're like never gonna pay for themselves. Huh, oh, bad. Twenty to thirty, that's pretty good. I guess the other problem I have with it is I've just never really had the patience for naval combat in the game. Which is a shame, because once you have, like, naval superiority, it can be very difficult, depending on the map, for your opponents to expand and do anything. So... And that's just me being lazy, because I kind of am just like, well, I'm either going to focus on... Land or sea, and I always focus on the land. Her. It's locked. <laughs> I've got the key right here. The father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to Cully. It's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. We, I come, come on, oh, open. What do I have to come up here and what did you drop it on the ground? Hey, where's the damn key? Somebody, please, somebody, please open the door. Come on. Okay. Can't uh, seem to target. Oh, there we go. Here in Phantom, my ass. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Hey, wait, get back! Roach will run you down. Roach! 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 Really, a hound of the wild hunt, huh? Uh, oh! I'm stuck on a hay bale! Damn it, Roach, this is all your fault! At least it doesn't seem to be interested in doing any damage. 